Identify which of two or more aqueous solutions is more acidic or alkali. So don't forget, pH, small p, big H, potential of hydrogen. My TIE fighter's still stuck on the roof. Since we last spoke, the pH is still 0 to 14 on the scale. pH 14 is the most alkali. So for example, drain cleaner. Very dangerous stuff, very alkali. Dissolve whatever you put down the drain. Oh, it's even dissolved the drain. pH 12, that is an ammonia-based toilet cleaner. Could be pH 12, not quite so alkali. Still pretty dangerous. Less alkali, pH 10, could be milk of magnesia. That's an antacid remedy for uh, an acidic stomach. Calm your stomach down. pH 8 are eggs. Slightly alkali, eggs are slightly alkali. And don't forget that pH 7 is pure, glorious, clean water. Milk is pH 6.8 or thereabouts, very slightly acidic. I don't know about cows or cowboy hats. Rain is naturally 5.6. Rain is naturally a weak acid because of the carbon dioxide dissolved in water. So rain is slightly acidic. Vinegar is about pH 3 or 4. That's more acidic. And acid rain, mist or fog, that's anthropogenic or man-made chemicals in the rain. Take it below 5.6. Oranges, pH 3. It's even more acidic. Battery acid, you're looking at about pH 1 or 2. And if I pull this bell, I wonder what will happen for pH 0. Oh, it's a free ride up in the air. That's beautiful, I can see everything from up here. Ouch. So, pH scale, 0 to 14. The lower the number, below 7, the more acidic. And the higher the number, above 7, is the more alkali or basic. Oh, I've been reincarnated as a cow. You can get pHs below zero and above 14, which is more than the IB wants you to know for SL. This little acid-spitting monster, haha, <laughs> dodged him. I'm going to try and get him to jump into the water, and that will dilute the acid and bring it up from minus two into zero or thereabouts, making it less acidic. Ha, <laughs> missed me. All right, let's see if we can use a pH meter to work out the uh, pH of New York City tap water. The kids put uh, 18,000 cups in the corridors for a senior prank, so we got a whole bunch of these. 17,999 more to use. All right, let's just take the pH of this. All righty, switch on the pH meter. Ah, doesn't work. Switch on the pH meter. Ah, doesn't work. Switch on the pH meter. Oh, that one works. Okay, now the bottom of it hasn't been sealed, so the glass electrode might not be fantastic. Those things need to be kept damp or protected. Switch on that one. Doesn't work. Switch on this 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 one. doesn't work. Well, one of them works. So New York City tap water seems to be about 5.3. So this is the view out of the window at Eunice. There's the power station. There's the boat we sometimes go around. That's Brooklyn. Uh, and there's some ducks down there too. And this is the view of universal indicator paper. Uh, you can see that this goes from pH 1 to 12, although ideally it will go from 0 to 14, the entire pH scale. And when you dip it into the solution, it will change colour depending on the pH. It follows the colours of a rainbow, uh, with pH 7 being yellow slash a little bit green uh, by my eyes. 
So here's a little story about a universal indicator. A few years ago, I was at a parent's day. One of the parents was complaining that I was patronising their child by describing universal indicator as rainbow indicator because you see the colours of universal indicator as it changes and goes through the pHs from zero to 14, if you've got the right paper, are the colours of a rainbow. She said it was patronising. So I said, hold on, not only did I explain it to your kid that he remembered, he remembers the colour changes, he also went home and explained it to you and it seems that you understand it as well. So how is that not a model educational experience? <laughs> she shut up after that.